Shalom, my name is Yeshua Yaakov. I'm an American citizen. I live in Jerusalem for the past 22 years. And um, I want to comment upon the, uh, this particular video uh, because it, uh, it suggests that uh, Bin Laden is talking about uh, uh, Al-Qaeda and uh, the world and the future, etc. So let's, uh, let's uh, provide a, a little information that I think will be very important to, uh, to the Arab Muslim world and to, the, to all of mankind, in fact. Um, it is uh, uh, fairly common uh, knowledge and, and, and well established and accepted uh, globally that uh, 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 Osama bin Laden's claim to have been the uh, the Kablan, the, uh, sorry, engineer of the 9/11 uh, uh, attack that uh, 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 brought down the uh, twin towers, uh, uh, a, a plane in Pennsylvania hit the Pentagon. Uh, is uh, is uh, credible and believable, all conspiracy uh, theories notwithstanding, um, uh, and uh, and further, um, uh, the God of the Cosmos, which is the the God of Allah, the God of Israel, uh, the one God of uh, all creation, uh, we in Israel have a long many thousands of years of history of uh, listening to very well. Now I'm not going to get into the polemics of politics of Hamas and uh, Hezbollah uh, and uh, I'm not going to wrap myself in an Israeli flag or Zionist speeches uh, because I'm a didactic scientist and I will report something um, that I think is very significant. And uh, and uh, this speaks not only to Osama bin Laden, but as well to Ahmad Dijan, uh, the uh, the virulent hatred of Israel in general, and in particular of Zionism, uh, will be one of the issues uh, touched upon in this video. The specific context of what has to be reported is, um, as a scientist, I've observed for the past 18 years a phenomenon uh, globally, and that is what is called the collapse of the local reality. And the collapse of the local reality um, is a term in physics. Uh, when it collapses, you're in the quantum reality. And so there are two frameworks in which the collapse of the local reality is meaning, secular and religious. So we're going to talk about uh, the religious meaning, and regardless of whether you're uh, uh, a Muslim or a Jew or a Christian, uh, it means the end of man and mankind's exile. And Ahmad Dijan uh, as well agrees with that. Um, having said that, uh, the question is what comes after the collapse of the local reality and the post-West, uh, the post-collapse of the local reality, East-West convergence model is humanomics. I'm its author. And uh, it's comprised of two paradigms, uh, receive to give, which is its central organizing principle, and the new economic paradigm, the integration of labor. The meta-narrative of 9-11, that means that uh, the God of the cosmos, of Israel, of uh, the God of the Muslims, of Allah, the one God of all creation, who could have intervened and stopped 9-11 didn't. So we listen, and uh, and now we receive what is the the meta narrative, in a word, the es the essence of the meaning. It um, has revealed a chaos a complexity and a convergence that now has to be comprehended. Where are we in that phase? Uh, we've, we've, we're, we're in the post-chaos phase and the complexity is now dawning on mankind that there is a major sea change in the events of man and mankind which is the end of man and mankind's exile. Okay, uh, The purpose uh, of this event in history uh, that has brought this sea change to all man and mankind is to answer three basic questions. And those three basic questions are, one, what creates life in sustainable human development and life systems? Two, what creates sustainable wealth? And three, who am I? And why am I here? And this applies to all, all man. Now, the answer to these questions uh, are directly, obviously, uh, connected to the collapse of the local reality. The collapse of the local reality has uh, occurred and brought uh, 
change in its meta narrative applies to four levels the psychosocial level, the behavioral level, the cognitive level, and the psycholinguistic level. On the psychosocial level, it means the collapse of both east west systems, and now they are both in convergence to the middle, and that is why we have the need for humanomics, the new east west convergence model. On the second level, on the behavioral level, it means the collapse and implosion of the two major monotheistic, in fact three monotheistic religions, Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, uh, because there's a very big change coming. There's a solution for the first and there's a solution for the second. On the third level, on the cognitive level, it means the, uh, the collapse of the two largest economies uh, led by America and Japan because they're the, both the most vulnerable economies in terms of um, uh, oil priced at $126 a barrel and going to 200 uh, there's a solution to that, the new economic paradigm, um, which also happens to save the uh, climate uh, uh, change crisis, uh, which is a planetary crisis. And on the, um, uh, on the psycholinguistic level, well we've just recited what the cognitive level is, um, and there's a solution, which I said, which is a new economic paradigm. And then the psycholinguistic level, which is absolutely the most important level, it is the collapse of the self-created duality of man and mankind, whether religious or secular. For the secular, it means that the uh, uh, the modern and, and the pre-modern and modern era has ended, and man now ascends to the quantum reality, which is uh, the new cognitive behavioral science. First principles receiving to give, and for the religious, it means redemption, the ascent, and and to inhabit the quantum reality, which is. Uh, and mankind's uh, redemption. And the solution to that collapse of the local reality um, uh, has to do with uh, man's relation with himself. And uh, in this context, we find that the event has produced a, well, let me describe it uh, in its, uh, its technical analog. It is a paradox perceived as a dilemma. Um, uh, that in reality is a dichotomy and it is the dichotomy of every man on this planet and none escape it. Everyone will experience uh, and live and be uh, uh, required to uh, address the collapsed local reality um, personally of their lives because it applies to on the, on the individual, the family, the community and the national uh, level for all mankind. It's the end of men and mankind's exile. Ahmad Dijan has been hoping for the Sunni Mashiach. Well, I don't know about the Sunni Mashiach. I don't know about uh, uh, any other Mashiachs, uh, but this is where we are. And, um, and so the meta-narrative of 9-11 is, uh, is the collapse of the local reality on four levels, on the psychosocial, the behavioral, the cognitive, the psycholinguistic levels, having application and meaning to the two systems, both East and West systems have collapsed, uh, meaning to the two major monotheistic religions, to the two major economies, and it applies also to the G9, and to uh, all man on the individual level, because man has a created duality uh, that is rooted in the old paradigm of man's exile, which was giving to receive, and that has collapsed. The anthropologic, psychologic, and sociologic model of man's mind was giving to receive. I give, I get. That's now replaced with kabel bishfilotet. Sorry, that's Hebrew. I'll give you the English, which is receiving to give. Receiving means receiving the authentic you to give the authentic you to whom? The authentic you. To your children, to your wife, your, your family, your community, your nation, to all mankind. So this is where we are, folks. Uh, and so stay tuned. And, uh, and someone said the other day, if... Um, if Osama bin Laden or uh, ever knew uh, the actual meta narrative of the meaning of 9/11, he wouldn't. Uh, well, he would have uh, refused to go ahead with it. Well, anyway, um, uh, uh, we're told that God works in strange ways. Well, there can be nothing uh, more uh, uh, complex to understand than what you've just heard. Uh, Having said that, I'm uh, Yoshua Yaakov. I'm a didactic scientist, an American citizen. I live in Jerusalem for 22 years. Thank you for listening. Blessings from Jerusalem.